Hello, I am Suyash, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot service load balancers for Amazon Elastic Kubernetes service. Let's get started. To troubleshoot your service load balancer, verify the following. You have the correct tags for your Amazon Virtual Private Cloud subnets. You have the required AWS identity and access management permissions for your cluster's IAM role. You have a valid Kubernetes service definition. Your load balancer stay within your account limit. There are enough free IP addresses on your subnets. Please note the following steps apply to the classic load balancer and the network load balancer. For the application load balancer, see application load balancing on Amazon EKS. Let's discuss for setting up correct tags for your Amazon VPC subnets. After logging into the AWS management console, navigate to the VPC console. On the navigation pane, choose subnets. Choose the tags tab for each subnet and then confirm that a tag exists. For example, like this. For your public subnets, confirm that the following tag exists. Important, you must have this tag to create an internet facing load balancer service. Note that to see if subnet is a public subnet, check the route table associated with the subnet. A public subnet has a route to an internet gateway, IGW. A private subnet has a route to the internet through a NAT gateway or NAT instance, or no route to the internet at all. For your private subnets, confirm that the following tag exists. Important, you must have this tag to create an internal facing load balancer service. Let's discuss the second point, setting the required IAM permissions for your cluster's IAM role. Open the Amazon EKS console. On the navigation pane, choose clusters. Select your cluster and then under your configuration tab, note your cluster IAM role ARN. Open the IAM console. On the navigation pane, choose roles. Select the role that matches the cluster IAM role ARN that you identified in the step 3. Confirm that the AWS managed policy, Amazon EKS cluster policy, it attached to your role. Note that the Amazon EKS control plane assumes the preceding IAM role to create a load balancer for your service. Let's discuss the third point. Use a valid Kubernetes service definition. In the YAML file for your Kubernetes service, verify that spec type is set to load balancer. Here's an example of Kubernetes service backed by a load balancer. Note that to customize your service with different annotation, see internal load balancer and TLS support on AWS. If you use the AWS load balancer controller to manage a network load balancer, then your annotations must meet the definition for the Kubernetes service. For more information, see network load balancing on Amazon EKS. Let's discuss the fourth point. Verify that your load balancers are within your account limit. Note that by default, an AWS account has maximum of 20 load balancers per AWS region. To check the number of load balancer that you have, open the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 console. Then choose load balancers from the navigation pane. If you have reached the maximum number of load balancer, then apply for a limit increase request with service quotas. Last point, verify that there are enough free IP addresses on your subnets. You must verify that each subnet of the load balancer has minimum of eight free IP addresses before you create a load balancer. This is required for both the classic load balancer and network load balancer. If you still have an issue after verifying these items, then follow the steps in the try additional troubleshooting steps section in the knowledge center article. To verify the Kubernetes service for an error message that can help you troubleshoot the issue, run the following command in the terminal. If the service isn't created successfully, then you receive an error. To get more information about the error messages, you can review below points. Review the Amazon EKS control plane logs such as controller manager log type. Find out more about the Kubernetes load balancer service on the Kubernetes website. Examine the cloud controller source code on the Kubernetes GitHub website. So now you know how to troubleshoot service load balancers for Amazon EKS. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.